Okay, welcome back for our class for our prelim for week module number two. So our topic is about winding pitch. So winding pitch is a number of elements spun at the front or back of the armature core as the coil expands. So so winding pitch we have standard rule. The winding elements in the slots are number odd on top and even on bottom. Bottom. So we have here our diagram. If na atay first slot, so therefore ang atu ang last slot will be even or di ba ang ang numbered nato is on top. So odd sya. So one. So therefore our stand as a standard rule our bottom is even we have here So the winding expansion must be from the top element to the bottom element So we have here an example so from element 1 so dapat ang ato ang bottom will be element 10 So for element 3 our bottom will be element 12. So, mag-start ta always in add numbers for our top element. So, back pitch or YB is the distance measured in terms of the armature winding elements which a coil advances on the back of the armature. So, klaro sa ato ang alan. So, therefore, ang ato ang coils is nag-advance Nag-advance siya sa tuang likod sa tuang armature. And for our front pitch, so it is a distance measured in terms of the armature winding elements which a coil is advances on the front. So therefore, front of the armature. So we have here an example for our back and front pitch. So kani for lap winding lang ni siya ha? take note ta. So, sa tuang lap winding, syempre na atay front we have here the front pitch and our back pitch. So, makita na to sa tuang drawing na syempre mauna jud ang atuang front pitch kaysa sa back pitch. So, sa lap winding we have our formula for back pitch. So, back pitch is equal to Z divided by P plus minus 1. So, um, sa maning Z? Z is the total number of winding elements nga kihatag. And P is the number of poles. And kaning positive and negative sign. So, for positive, it is for prag Receive winding. So, natopic na nato ni sa toang module number 1. And for our negative sign is for the retrogressive winding. So, for another formula for our back pitch, we have YB is equal to YF or front pitch plus minus 2M. So, unsa sa maning M, M is the multiplicity factor or ginatawag po siya og flex factor so our m for simplex winding we have 1 and for our duplex we have 2 and 3 is for triplex winding so sa lap winding to so there di ba duha ato ang types sa winding so we have the number 2 the wave winding so kaning wave winding is lahi po dang iyahang formula. So, we have here our diagram. So, in our back pitch, na siya. And next is ang atuang front pitch. So, we have our formula for our YB. So, YB is equals atuang YF so, nearly equal to the pole pitch. So, therefore, Y average, pitch average na to is 
1 half multiply sa yb plus yf. And we have also another formula. If given ang ato ang total number of winding elements and our number of poles, we have z plus minus 2 over p. So, dapat must be an even integer. So, we have here plus sign for progressive, negative sign for retro, and z is for the total number of winding element, and p is the number of poles. So, take note ta sa tuang mga formula na ginahatag ni mo. So, let's have our example. Assume the armature of a 4 pull dynamo has 16 coils. Specify the front and back pitches for a simplex progressive lap winding. So, klaro no? Sa ito ang problem na naghatag siya. Lap winding. So, sa lap winding... Lap winding ang ato ang problem. And for our number of pull, we have 4. And our total. So, atay coils. 16 coils. And naghatag po siya o simplex progressive. So, diba sa lap winding, if simplex progressive, therefore, positive, sign ang atuang gamiton. So, first, we need to find our total number of winding elements. To solve that, so Z is equal to, naghatag siya coils, 16 coils, multiply, so sa tong coils, there are, Two elements. So, cancel atong coil. So, our total number of winding elements will be 32 elements. So, naana tay Z. So, we need to solve for YB. So, on sa toy formula for YB sa atong lap winding, we have Z over P plus 1. So, formula YB is equal to Z over P positive since simplex progressive plus 1. So, take note progressive lap winding. substitute, our C is 32 and our number of pull is 4 plus 1 so our back pitch will be 9 elements but ang ipangayo sa problem is the front and the back pitches so naanatay back pitches so elements ni siya so nakuha na nato ang back so we need to solve for our front so to solve for front so formula yf so yb formula nato sa lab yb is equal to yf plus 2m yf plus 2m since nanatay back so we need to solve for our front pitch so derive yf is equal to yb minus 2m since ato ang yb nanata 9 minus 2 and our M is simplex, so therefore, times 1 
So, our yf will be 7 elements. So, this is our final answer for our problem number 1. So, let's have, let's proceed for our next topic. We have commutator pitch. So, commutator pitch or YC is the distance measured in commutator bars or segment between the segment to which the two ends of a coil are connected. So, kani, nakita na ito, atong YZ. Iingon is the distance measured of a bars or segment between the segment to which the two ends of a coil are connected. So, we have here. So, our YC. So, end niya. So, two ends are, are connected. So, we have our formula. So, commutator pitch for lap winding we have is equal to 1. And for wave winding, we have YC is equal to NC plus minus m p over 2 so nc is the number of winding elements sa ato ang commutator pitch we have here take note that for wave winding yc must be an integer if not then the winding is not possible since it will close to itself after one passage around the armature this is the one limitation of the wave winding. So, dapat atong answer must be in an integer. Para ang atong winding is possible. So, let's have an example. A commutator has 456 segments. Test whether or not the following windings are possible. For A, we have simplex 6 poles, B, triplex 6 poles. <coughs> so, first, we need to solve for our letter A for the simplex simplex 6 poles formula YC is equal to NC plus minus M divided by pole over 2 since given man our NC will be 456 plus minus m na to is simplex therefore 1 divided by our pole will be 6 over 2 sakto ba so our answer ana for positive our answer will be 152.3 and for negative our answer will be 151.6 so there Therefore, for letter A, not possible ang ato ang winding. Because wala siya naka in DJ. So, for our triplex, solve for triplex, so same formula. NC plus minus 2. M divided by P over 2. So, 456 plus minus, so triplex, our M will be 3 divided by 6 over 2. So, for positive 3, for 5, 6, positive 3, our answer will be 151. And for negative 3, our answer will be 153. So, therefore, sa triplex nga 6 poles, our winding is possible. This is our final answer. Okay? So, nasabtan rin no? Since formula based, very basic ra sa to, ah. So, proceed for another topic. We have number of commutator segments. So, each commutator seg segment or bar has two winding elements are connected to it. Since each coil has two winding elements, Thus, the number of commutator bars is equal to the number of coils. So, giingon dere 
So, number of commutator na to is equal sa ito ang number of coils because of the two winding elements. So, we have an example for our commutator segments. So, sa two elements per bar, equal radi ay ang ito ang number of coils. So, NC stands for number of commutator bars. So, let's have an example for this number of commutator segments. So, a 6-pole dynamo requires 360 conductors on its armature. With 3 turns per coil and 2 coil side per slot, determine the number of commutator bars. So, sa itong problem, naghatag siya o number of conductors. Actually, 360 conductors. But, giingon po. So, take note. Sa ito ang problem. Sa ito na to, So, 2 coil per slot means So, sa meaning, if 2 coil per slot, so 2 winding elements per slot sub for a simplex winding the number of commutator bars is equal to the number of coils so diba nc is equal to the number of coils With 3 turns per coil, yung man man there is a problem nga, 3 turns per coil. So therefore, we will conclude that with 3 turns per coil means there are a total of 6 conductors per of 6 conductors per coil. So, tama ba? Since 2 winding elements, so 3 multiplies at 1, 2 winding elements, so we have 6 conductors per coil. So, take note, na 2 coil per slot, so therefore, 2 winding elements per slot. So, to solve for our NC, or the number of commutator bars so we have n we need to solve for our n one coil six conductors sinahatag siya 360 conductors therefore our n will be 60 coils so we have 60 coils since makancel ang conductors so, therefore, atong number of coils, diba, is equal to the number of commutator. So, our answer will be 60 commutator bars. Since same raman, so this is our final answer. So, let's proceed for our last topic, for our module number 2. So, a number of parallel paths. So, number of parallel current paths in the armature from negative brush to positive brush. So, sa itong positive brush, diba, kabalo na ta? And we have also negative brush. So, A for our lap winding, we have M multiply sa tong P where atong M is the multiplicity factor also called flex factor so kabalo na ta sa taas natay flex factor nga simplex, duplex and triplex and for our wave winding we have 2M so constant na siya A is equal to 2M for wave winding so let's have an example how many Parallel paths are there in the windings 
of an armature wound six pole triplex wave winding. So, gaingon siya. Natay. Triplex wave winding. So, therefore, atong gamiton nga formula will be A is equal to 2M. So, for wave winding formula for the number of parallel paths. But our M is 3 because triplex ang giingan sa problem. So, pwede na to masolve ang ato ang parallel paths. Ito ang unknown. So, we have A is equal substitute 2 times 3 so the answer will be 6 pots so very easy no since formula rapod so this is our final answer for our last example so I hope na inasabtan for module number 2 and if you have any question you can comment sa itong google classroom so study smart and God bless.